Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. I'm gonna first things first do some skincare. I just brushed my teeth and I I feel like I just do skincare right away in the morning because I just don't like when my face feels dry. I'm using the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. And today I'm doing a weekday vlog. It's a Tuesday morning and I'm gonna take you guys with me throughout the day. I kind of have a busy day planned. We're gonna do a little workout because the weather is so nice. I wanna work out outside. Um, and then I have to go to Target because I'm like out of all my cleaning supplies. So I need to get some cleaning supplies and some drinks from Target. And then at seven tonight, my nephew JP has a baseball game. And when I was over there with Joey this past weekend, he asked if I could go. So he plays for two different teams. So um, I always go to his travel ball games, but then he plays like another team. Um, I think it's called Rec, Rec or something. Um, and he doesn't, that one's not as like serious, but he does like when, you know, when family's there and shows up and it's really good practice for him for the travel ball. So anyways, he really wants me to go to that game. So I'm going to go over there. It's kind of, it's going to probably take me like an close to an hour with traffic to get to my sister's but I'm gonna go to the baseball game tonight which will be fun I don't know what I'm doing for dinner I don't know if I'm gonna eat dinner with them or eat dinner when I get back but I have some leftovers regardless so yeah I'm gonna take you guys along with me on my day I don't typically always show my weekdays and vlogs but you guys asked to see more of like week weekday content like what I do throughout the day and this is really what I do. Um, work, go see family. Um, I try to work out four times a week, um, take care of the dogs, things like that. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. Got some water. I always am trying to drink water before coffee. Um, mm -hmm. I always just, I just think it's important to stay hydrated and be hydrated before I go and drink coffee. Um, I got a new tripod in. I'm so happy about it. If I could learn how to use it correctly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right there. Right there. Okay. Oh my gosh, this tripod's so nice. You ready to eat? Oh, why do I do that every time? I'm gonna put on a YouTube video while I walk. Um, because it just makes the time go by so much faster. So I'll just put on like a random vlog and um, walk until the vlog's over. Um, I usually work out with my five pound dumbbell, but I can't find the other one, so I only have one. So I had to go up to 12. So I'm doing 12 each, which I'm not really used to, so it's definitely burning.
So those are the different exercises and then I'll just repeat that three times and then my arms will be blubber by the end of it. Now, Brooks is gonna harass me until I throw the ball. Oh! Which, my arms hurt so bad. Cause like I said, I usually don't do 24 pounds. I do 10. There's that. So I'm gonna throw the ball with him for a little bit and then we're gonna go make a coffee. I have not yet had my coffee. I'd rather have like a slow morning and I make it like a ritual and like a routine to make my coffee and I really want to enjoy it. So I'm going to make that here in a little bit after I throw the ball with this dog for like 15 minutes or so and then he'll be, he'll be pretty tired for a while and then I'll have to come out and do it again. <laughs> right? Look at this thing. Where doing throwing this ball is a workout, arm workout in itself. It's up to you, girlfriend. Ricky, you're gonna stay for a little. Um. Again, these shoes are so good. They're the Sorrel shoes. They are like that same company that does like winter boots and winter sneakers. But if you're anyone, like I always struggle with getting blisters when I wear tennis shoes or um, like honestly any kind of sneakers besides Air Force Ones, they never give me blisters. But like any kind of sneaker, like workout shoe, running shoe, I get blisters, but these I do not get blisters. And they're just really comfortable. I have kind of like a more large foot, like a wide foot, and these are so comfortable. They kind of stretch. So I'm gonna leave the link down below. I actually ordered mine from Amazon and um, I'll see if I can find these because they're seriously amazing. And I've really got my money out of them because I haven't felt like the need to like buy anything else. Honestly, that freaking arm workout was harder than walking. The most weight I lost, like, I swear it was because I was working out weights. Weights definitely are underrated. Like, they are such a good cardio workout. They're good for toning. And I feel like I dropped weight so much faster when I was doing weights, incorporating weights into my routine, my workout routine. So, highly recommend start off small, start off with the five pounds. Just look up anything, honestly. I look up for my workouts, like, at this point in time, I know, like, what I want to do. Like, I've been working out for a little while to learn some things. So, if you are a beginner, I highly suggest just looking up like 10 minute beginner workouts with a timer. Um, this one is Fit by Mick. Um, this is the 10 minute standing arm. I do this one often and there's a timer. So she's not really talking, she's just showing you what to do. And then there's a timer and I feel like the timer just like clicks with me mentally and I'm able to like push myself. So I prefer the ones that are on timer, not the ones where they're talking a whole bunch. That's just me personally. So I'm gonna go rinse off my body in the shower real quick. And then we're gonna get ready for the day. Um, I feel like getting ready like right after a workout is really important. I find myself that if I don't get ready, then like shortly after I work out or something, then I can just like lounge and lounge wear and not really um, feel very motivated. So I'm gonna make sure that I definitely get ready for today. So anytime, since I live in Florida, like, and I'm working out outside, my hair does get kind of like greasy and wet. So what I do is I take dry shampoo. Um, this one's okay, honestly, I need to invest in something a little bit better. Um, and I just go around my crown and a little bit under. Anywhere I just feel like it's greasy from working out or sweaty. Obviously, I'm not washing my hair um, every day or anything. 
Okay, and then I take my Bondi brush and I'm just going to kind of go through close to my root and dry up. curl my hair today which I haven't curled my hair in a really long time um, I'm using this Lang straightener and curler um, I actually really like it I've had it for a while and I don't regret buying it so I'm gonna add some heat spray I'm using the this one I think it's like SGX or something NYC blaze I'm drinking my water I'm so ready for my coffee but I still have yet to make it <laughs> but that's another thing I'm trying to do is just like not rely on it like first thing in the morning like give my stomach a break I've been reading a lot about it with hormones and I do have a hormone imbalance and we are trying to get pregnant so um, I just want to like really take care of my hormones um, and just make sure yeah I'm focusing on that I I know I've mentioned it before but for anyone new um, me and my husband are we've been trying like we have been not not trying <laughs> to have kids and my husband has a really low um, sperm count so we are working on that I've been checked out and um, all looks good minus I do have a hormone imbalance yeah just trying to get this hormone imbalance in check um, with hormones and Im imbalances the biggest downfall is like not being getting like accurate ovul uh, ovulation so that's really hard when you're trying to get pregnant because your ovulation's everywhere because your period's kind of everywhere and it's not the same every month um, when you have a hormone imbalance. So at that point where the other day I felt really weird, I was at a family function and I felt like everyone was looking at me like, why don't they have kids? Like, you know, why aren't they pregnant? Because I'm so involved with any child in my family. Like I'm I'm very motherly like I'm always like showing so much affection and I like obviously like anyone can tell like I'm obsessed with kids I love kids I want kids I've always been really really good with kids because um, I just always been a nurturer and yeah I felt really weird and Joey actually told me he felt really weird you just felt like people were wondering because we are in our 30s we're 31 and you know we're ready we've been ready um, so here in the next few months, I think um, we'll have more of an update on what we need to do next. That's another big reason why, you guys, I love, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Like, we almost bought a house, and I'm really thankful that we didn't, and that Joey decided to switch careers, because one, he'll make way more money, and it's like a really, a really great career path to take um, for the future, so... Who knows, maybe we'll like open up our own business or something. So yeah, I was like, you know, we almost bought a house, like we were ready to buy a house. But then I'm honestly so happy that we are still in the RV. I'm really happy in the RV and I'm happy that we're at Joey's mom's because we're saving so much money. And the way I look at it is like, is there a reason that we have to save all this money and like we need to be somewhere with family because I don't know what the steps are going to be with trying to get pregnant. Like we might have to go through some serious stuff and expensive things um, to get pregnant. So that saving the money being here is probably going to come in hand and being around family to help and cope and just, you know, just, you know, be there for you being surrounded by family. Maybe there's like a reason why this happened. So 
that's kind of what I am grateful for today is like just everything kind of happens for a reason and at least I've experienced in my life that's true with pain something you know good comes out of it or something with perspective or it's meant to be that way so I can help others or learn things like forgiveness or coping adapting whatever it may be and depending on the situation so I will keep you guys updated though of course you'll know if anything you know me and Jerry have already talked about it and we are going to be open about our trying to conceive and our um, our journey to have a baby whatever it is I've had people ask me if we're open to adoption and 100% we are but no matter what I will be a mother some way some other I will be a mother um, that's my my dream I feel like I'll be such a good mom <laughs> That update's been on my mind a lot, and that's currently what consumes my a lot of my thoughts. So I wanted to share with that with you guys. Um, okay, so my hair is looking pretty good. I have just this little section left, and then I'm gonna kind of let it fall out a little bit. I don't really want to brush it because these curls don't—they're not like really—they don't hold, you know. So I'm just gonna let them kind of fall. And then I'll do my makeup, which makeup today is going to be super easy, super simple because I'm just going to be sweating it off at the baseball fields probably. Okay. Skin prep. We're doing Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops. This was a sample I got for my birthday. And I really like it for like pre-prepping for makeup, which I do because I have really dry skin and I like a really dewy look. So I like to do these drops. It smells like watermelon. It smells really good. I do this peptide depuff eye cream treatment for under the eyes by Youth to the People. I mentioned this. Um, it's kind of expensive, but it is really nice. They actually sent that to me, so super grateful that I didn't have to spend the money for it to try it, but now that I've tried it, I do really, really like it. Um, I think it's like 60 bucks though, so maybe do it on the Sephora sale or wait till you have like some rewards racked up. We're gonna go in with the it cc cream in the color fair this is the best cc cream this is probably the only cc cream i'll be using for a long time i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna do a quick just natural makeup look and then we will have breakfast and make some coffee and i have to make a thumbnail for a video that needs to go up today. Hula bronzer. I love this bronzer. I feel like it works so good with my fair skin. This is the Willa blush. From them I use their cookie cookie highlighter <laughs> rocks for my lip I'm doing ColourPop um, lip liner and another round and then I'm just using my lip oil which I ordered another one um, of these lip oils lip oils from Amazon because I really like it it's like a really pretty pink peachy color I think it's actually called peach but I ordered the cherry because um, I like when my lips are a little bit more pinky and like red so I ordered the cherry and we'll see how that one is but they're from Amazon I'll leave a link down below um, they're really really good so now I'm gonna pick out an outfit and get changed I have no idea what I'm wearing last I'm spraying my Rosie by Rosie Jane perfume I just got that you guys know if you watch that video I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good. Love it. 
and I'm ready for the day. I'm wearing just one necklace since I have earrings on. Just a little statement necklace. I made this a casserole for Easter. It's delicious. It has onions, yellow squash, tomatoes, turkey sausage, parsley, eggs, and then ricotta cheese on top. And it's seriously so good with some salt and pepper. Here's my coffee. Looks delicious with that thick creamy foam on top. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this for breakfast and work on that thumbnail. I edit my thumbnails on Canva, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Do a little bit of work. Come on, Brix. Let's go outside. Send this over. Okay. I just finished the work I needed to do. I made a thumbnail and then I made like a little video clip, kind of like a teaser. Um, and then I had to answer some emails and I'm done. So I'm gonna go through the ball with the dogs and get them really tired um, and wear them out, play tug of war, play with the ball, um, because I'm gonna have to leave here around two. It's 12 o'clock right now, so I have lots of time to play with them and get them tired. We might even go on a little walk around the neighborhood um the only reason why i'm don't really know if i want to do that is because brixie's leash keeps her collar keeps coming apart it's like a leather collar and the flap it's hard to explain but i need to get them a new collar but i like to get them leather collars because cloth 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 collars get really dirty and the leather one's really easy to clean and make it look brand new so i need to order her a new one because i don't think this one's working um i think i got it too big i don't know if i want to go on a walk because i'm so scared that it's going to come loose but we'll see but i'm going to go throw the ball with them drink the rest of my coffee to Target did some damage not too much um, I got a lot of tank tops and some brawls which I really need so I'll show you guys that though when I get home because I just pulled up to my sisters and I'm about to go walk in and see the kids um, and then we're gonna go to a baseball game I'm gonna show you guys what I got like I said when I get home the only thing that I didn't get was drinks because I don't want to have to put like these big bottles of drinks and stuff in my sister's fridge and take up a ton of room So I'll have to get drinks a little bit later, but let's go in Me too, Pete. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared me. I thought I heard Michelle's car, Joey's mom's car Oh, wait, I'm sure I have the key. That would be so bad if I left the key in the car. Pretty plants Okay <laughs> Hi, little girl. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Hi, BG. Hi, BG. Hi, BG. I got your email, and then I put in my email, and it's like, what's your password? I'm like, oh, no. I never got my password. Uh, I just imported it into my calendar. My camera and your glass. Hey, what are we doing? It's windy, right? We're at JP's baseball game. Is he doing good? Uh huh. He's pitching. We just had some fries. Ooh. <laughs> oh, very well. I, I look smart enough to bring a jacket though. Stand down, JP! 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 Stand down
Stare him down. Stare him down. I don't have it. I'll start staring down too. I'll like it. So, JP? Yeah, we See you. put my robe on. Um, this is the bra I got and I wore it right when I got it because I really needed a new bra. So I wore this to the baseball game and it was so comfy. I love it. I actually got this one in an extra large um, instead of an XXL because I wanted it to be tight and I felt like it looked kind of oversized. I love the color. It has a really cool rib detail. And yeah, I really like this one. I think it was like $10 or maybe this one was 15. It's from the Auden brand um, from Target. And then I got this shirt. This was freaking $3, but the tag, the freaking alarm thing is still on it. Um, she took off one of them on one of my clothings, but I guess she forgot this one. And it did go off when I walked through, but they're like, you're good. So. Um, I have to go back to get that off, but these are so cheap. They're three freaking dollars, and I actually really like the cut of it, and this color is really pretty. I really like this berry color, so that's good to just throw under like a long, long sleeve or something, um, and I just like to like lounge around in them. Sometimes I'll sleep in a tank top if it's hot. Um, I got this really cute blue shirt. This was $8. Um, it's from the Wild and Fable brand and it is the softest shirt and I really like this color. Again, a very summer, cool, casual shirt. Oh my gosh, the TV is going on in the background. <laughs> I thought I paused it. I'm sorry if that was distracting. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. It's not like a full length t-shirt. It's kind of like a tee and a crop top mixed. Um, but it's so soft and I'm really trying to embrace wearing color because I'm always drawn to black clothing. I got this little bra and underwear set. This was so cute. It's from the Auden brand from Target. I love this blue color. I love that there's no padding. I'll probably sleep in this tonight with like a big oversized shirt. That's like what I usually wear to bed. And then these little hipster briefs. These are again what I like to sleep in. I just think they're so comfy. I don't care if they're granny panties. Um, they're comfortable. So look at this color. This color is so cute. This was 13 for the bra and six for the bottoms. So not, not bad. And then I got some scrunchies. I opened the scrunchies up though so my mom could french braid my hair um but i really like these and i try to always wear scrunchies and not elastics and then for cleaning stuff it's very simple i needed some ice trays actually because the ones that i have in the silicone mold suck so i got some ice trays i got some sponges i like these sponges a lot they're the ever spring heavy duty uh, scrubbers and then I needed some cleaning stuff really bad. I needed to get bleach because I have a white sink and bleach is the only thing that will keep it white. So I got some bleach spray. This was on sale, so I got this one. This is the Bamboo Method all-purpose spray. Um, it was like 30% off, so I was like, yes, please. And then I got some um, room scent. This is like a room freshener. This is the Peony scent. Um, I like to have that. So that's everything that I got from Target. I'm glad that I got some new, some new like lounge clothing and some bras because I always need bras. My bras, like I feel like I go through them really fast. Um, so yeah, that's everything I got from Target. I'm home now and I guess I can end this vlog because that's it for today. We had such a good time at the baseball game. They lost though 10 to, um, what was it? 10 to four, I think. Um, this wasn't his travel ball. This was just like rec ball. Um, so it's a different team. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. It was really good to see the kids and to see my mom. But 
now I'm home and I'm ready to unwind. I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to bed. That's like it for me. It's 10.35, I'm ready for bed. Yeah, that's what today looked like. Tomorrow I'll be full editing. So tomorrow's like a work day. So usually for me, my schedule's like if I film, then the next day after I'm done filming, I fully take that whole day to edit and do thumbnails and to do description box and stuff. Um, and it's just like a little work day for me. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow is a workout first thing in the morning because that was so good for my energy. Like today I had so much energy and I think it was because I worked out first thing in the morning. So I'm going to work out tomorrow and edit this video. And then Joey comes home Thursday so he doesn't have to work Friday in Naples. He gets to come home to me. So I'm going to clean the house and get it all nice and clean. Do our sheets and bedding and stuff. And yeah, we'll be so happy. Me and the dogs will be so happy um, when he gets here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to thumbs up. I'll be always sharing content here. I feel like I'll always have this channel. I love posting here. I really want to get to 50K, so please make sure to like, share if you can. Comment down below. That helps. Comments help so much. Like, I guess YouTube notices like the comments and like people like interacting. So they'll push my video out there and they'll, um, they'll like, They'll recommend me to channels and to people and subscribers so if you could comment I'd really appreciate it comment me anything you want and give this video a thumbs up and I love you guys and I will see you very soon bye guys do you want to see bye look at you are you ready for bed are you ready for bed here you go pee come on don't bark at anything just go pee go go potty dark out there.